Hey, if you're anything like me, then buying gifts for other people is a real challenge. But if you're looking to buy a gift for a tennis player, even if that's yourself, then you're in the right place. As being a tennis YouTuber has given me the opportunity to test tons of unique tennis products. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 of my favorite gift ideas for tennis players. Let's check it out. Welcome back. So this isn't a normal what's in my tennis bag. We're not gonna be talking about tennis balls, grips and rackets because you know a lot about all of these things. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some of tennis's more unique products, which would make for some really cool and surprising gifts for tennis players. Now for full transparency, if you buy some of these items through my affiliate links in the description below, I will get a very small commission. So it really helps to support the channel. The added bonus to this is some of these products I have discount codes for. So if you're interested in checking any of those out, you can find them in the description below. And finally, I'm gonna keep this video quite brief as there's 10 items, so I'm not gonna go into every single one in a lot of detail, but most of them I've actually made full reviews on. So again, you can check out those videos in the links below. So without further ado, let's get into the 10 items. So first of all, we're gonna take a look at what lives in my tennis bag on a daily basis. Of course, I've got rackets and grips and balls, but we're gonna look at some of the more unique items which you might not have seen before. So first of all, in no particular order, um, let's take a look at this. So this is the Functional Tennis Sabre. And what it is, is it's a sweet spot trainer. So you play tennis with this as you normally would. However, with its much smaller head at 37 inches, it's much, much tougher to make contact with the ball. I like to use this at the start of sessions so that I can really hone in on my timing and my focus. It really forces you to watch the ball much more closely so that when you use your proper racket, it feels much easier and you hit the sweet spot far more often. This was actually designed by Fabio at Functional Tennis on the back of his popular selling item, the Tennis Pointer, which is effectively a wooden spoon with a tennis handle, a tennis shaped grip on the bottom of it. Now you can still purchase this at much cheaper than this one, but if you're deciding between the two, I would definitely opt for this one as it feels like a real tennis racket. It's balanced amazingly and when you hit the ball, it has an amazing sound. So if you can afford it, I'd definitely go for this one out of the two. If you want to know a little bit more about the Functional Tennis Saber, I'll put a link in the description below to my full video. The next thing that lives in my tennis bag is this TRX kit. Now, if you haven't heard of TRX before, it's suspension training. You basically attach this kit to a fixed object. Like here, I could attach it to the floodlights, you can attach it to the fence. If you're at home, you could attach it to your door and you can do tons of exercises using your own body weight and changing the challenge level by adjusting the angle in which you're standing. You can train upper body, lower body and core. There are tons and tons of workouts. And actually with this kit, there is an app which shows you a load of different exercises. So for tennis players, this is an amazing piece of kit for your strength and conditioning and it's pretty portable so you can take it anywhere with you. The next item is quite similar to the TRX kit, but it was designed specifically for tennis players. And it's made by Reynolds Resistance, who have recently rebranded to be called Xpand. Now, this kit in particular is called the Gravity Belt. What the Gravity Belt does is you attach the belt around your waist, you attach two ankle straps, which are connected to your waist via bungee cord. This pulls you into a lower athletic position, adding resistance to your legs for your normal tennis workout, whether you're on court and playing or doing some agility exercises. This is a great way to increase the challenge level of your sessions, giving you stronger and more explosive legs and encouraging you into that lower athletic position, ready to pounce on the ball. So this is another really cool item for those that want to get faster on the tennis court. So I can't go through all of my bag contents without mentioning the bag itself. This bag is from Go Sports. It's called the Axiom 2.0. I've actually had the previous version for over a year and a half now, and I've used it religiously every single day for all of my coaching equipment. It's definitely gone through the wars and it stood the test of time as it's still standing in really good shape. However, Chris Pago from Go Sports has actually kindly sent me the new version for me to take a look at, and there are tons of improvements on it. You may remember my review of the original version. I'll put the link to that in the description below. I won't go through all of its features in this video, but what I will say is it's definitely more functional than the previous version. 
The racket pockets on the side are far more spacious. In the last one, it was a tight squeeze to fit one racket on each side. Now I can actually fit at least two rackets on each side. In fact, here I've got four rackets, my functional tennis saber and the tennis pointer with a lot more space for others as well. As well as that, they've added more functionality to the side pockets. In this side pocket here, there are little compartments where you can organize things like I've got pens and grips and I've got my card reader here as well. And the pockets at the bottom as well are made out of this stretchy material, so there's far more room for other things. The top pocket used to be a mesh, so when I was out here and it was raining, all of my stuff in the top compartment got wet. But now this is also made out of a really good water repellent material with breathing holes if you wanted to put shoes or wet clothing in the top. I actually use this top compartment for all my essentials. I keep my drinks bottle, my sunglasses and things like that. So I'm going to show you all of the other items back at home. Let's go. So if you've enjoyed the video so far, hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And while you're there, let me know in the comments below why you're here. Are you looking to buy a gift for a friend or is it for yourself? So the next item is blaze pods. I've actually made a full review of these on the channel, so I'll pop the link to that in the description below. But blaze pods are a set of reaction lights and effectively they light up one at a time and you've got to tap them before the next one lights up. And these are fantastic for training your reactions and your agility. I've used them in tons of different ways via the blaze pod app where you can set up different sequences to create different challenges. For me as a coach, these are such a valuable tool for me to keep in my tennis bag. The kids absolutely love them. It's a really fantastic way to get them engaged straight away in the session. They come in sets of four like this one or sets of six and they come with their own little charger in this nice hard case. So really good quality product. You can get cheaper alternatives, but if you want them to be reliable and you want them to last, then it's worth spending that extra money. They also make for really fun party games, which is why I keep them at home. The next two items are actually sat behind me in my office here. The first one is this. Now this is a recycled tennis ball, which has been made into a Bluetooth speaker. And the sound quality is actually amazing for the size. The brand is called Hero and they recycle used tennis balls. You can actually get used Wimbledon tennis balls made into a speaker. So this is a really cool, unique gift. Next up, are these Funko Pop figurines. I've got Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal, my two favorite players. I actually got these from my local pro shop, Paul Skip, who you might have seen in previous videos. He's the stringer at our club. He's got some of these which he is selling. So if you're local to me and you want to support a small business, get in touch with Paul and I'm sure he'll be able to help you out. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure you can get these online but these are awesome if you've got tennis playing kids that you need to buy for, or if you're a bit of a nerd like me. I've actually got these as I'm gonna be moving out of this office and I wanted them for my office setup for future YouTube videos. So stay tuned if you wanna check out what that looks like. As well as Roger and Rafa that I've got, I know you can get John McEnroe. I think they make one for Nick Kyrgios as well. So there are tons of different options, but I'll put links down in the description below so you can check those out. Next up is another thing that lives in my office and it is the Functional Tennis Match Journal. Now, as well as match journals, Functional Tennis make practice journals too. And what it is, is a really nice quality notebook where you can keep track of your matches or your practices. So you can set yourself goals as you can see here. Um, and if you flick through, you've got a calendar of activities so you can set up where your matches are uh, and you can Reflect, so this is a match sheet. It talks about different plans that you're gonna have for the match. You can set up strategies so you can put down different patterns of play that you're looking to use in the match. Uh, and you can also reflect upon your match. So these are a really, really good tool if you're a competitive player and you want to reflect a little bit more on your matches and set yourself goals. The practice journal is very similar and both of them come in these nice little drawstring bags so that you can keep them in good shape in your tennis bag. If you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I'm a huge advocate for journaling and writing down goals as it helps you to become just a little bit more accountable and to help you to push your tennis forwards to that next level. So we're nearly there. Item number nine is the most expensive item on the list. It's the Slinger bag. 
Now, if you've been with me and the channel since the start, you'll know that I actually backed Slinger Bag on their Kickstarter campaign before it got launched. And over a year later, received it during lockdown when I actually started this channel. And it's been an absolute godsend for me because as a content creator, it allows me to set up the ball machine at one end of the court, set up the camera at my end of the court and hit forehands, backhands, volleys and serves. So it's allowed me to create much more content than I would have done if I had to rely on other people being with me. For tennis players and tennis coaches, it's an amazing tool to give you tons of repetitions and to give you a really, really good workout. Now, of course, playing tennis with a human being is the most beneficial to you and your tennis. However, if you want extra practice, you want to get lots of repetitions in, groove your technique and get a really intense workout, then a ball machine could be the way forward. And the Slinger Bag is a great one as it's one of the cheapest on the market. And not only is it a ball machine, but it actually stores your equipment with it. So you can store over 100 balls within the ball machine. You can store your rackets, your shoes and any other accessories that you want to bring with you to the tennis court. Because it's on wheels, it makes it much more portable as well. Now this final item is some of the latest technology in tennis and it's called Sense Arena for Tennis. Utilizing virtual reality, this is a training tool that can help you to develop your reactions, your anticipation, visualization, amongst other things. When you put this virtual reality headset on, Looking through the goggles here, you're transported into a different world. In Sense Arena's case, you're transported to a stadium tennis court. And using this haptic racket, which connects to the virtual reality controllers, you play tennis. This haptic racket actually vibrates when you make contact with the ball. So not only can you see this virtual reality world, but you can also feel it. This haptic feedback really helps you to hone your timing, meaning that if you catch the ball slightly late on a forehand, the ball is going to go wide. And if you did too early, it will go the other way. The training tool is full of tons of different drills. You can work on your accuracy, where lights flash up on the court for you to hit. Obviously, if you swing fast, the ball's gonna go further. And overall, so far, it seems pretty realistic. I haven't actually done a full review of this product, so let me know in the comments below if that's something that would interest you. But if you want to see more about it, I have made some videos over on my Instagram account. For your information, to make use of Sense Arena Tennis, you need a MetaQuest 2, which is this virtual reality headset, which comes along with a couple of controllers and a case. Now, this can be bought through your local tech store. If you're in the UK, mine's actually from John Lewis. Once you have the virtual reality headset, Sense Arena is actually an app which you pay a subscription for. And if you want to get the most out of the training, you can actually buy this haptic racket as well. You don't have to use it, but it definitely does make the experience much more realistic. If you've actually already got any of the items that I've listed, I'd love it if you pop a comment below and let me know what your experience has been with it, as I'm sure it's gonna help other viewers of this video. Also, if you've seen any other cool tennis items that I've not mentioned, pop those in the comments below and I'll explore them. And like I said at the start, in the description below, I've got links to all of the full reviews that I've done. Although I've not made reviews for all of them, let me know if there are any extra ones you'd like to see. I've got links to all of the products in the description below. Some of them have affiliate links, some of them don't, and some of them also have discount codes, so make sure you check that out before you buy them. Massive thanks as always for watching. I look forward to seeing you in next week's video. Take care.